Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it's been a little while since I posted a video, so I thought I'd give you an update on what's going on, uh, style related anyways. Um, and mainly what I've been working on is updating, um, writing new probing screens and macros. Um, a lot of you guys with the later level of software know that you have probing screens and they don't work. Um, my understanding, um, I've talked to Syntec, they're out of the picture. Um, Sile, um, I think they're working on a long-term solution, but short-term there's not um, going to be uh, much going on. As far as I understand, I, I've just had some, you know, basic conversations with them. Nothing, you know, I don't take anything that I say. They might come out with some next week, who knows, right? Um, but my understanding is it's going to be a while. So um, not wanting to wait around, I decided to make my own screens and write new macros so the probing screens will work. Um, I kept with the same theme that they had in design. You can see that. Um, when I was done with that, I also I turned uh, my attention over to the tool setter. Um, not that there needed to be much there, but I've never liked the fact that they don't have a batch tool measure. So you get a new job, you load uh, three, four, five, six, whatever it is, eight, ten, all the tools, all 12 tools. Um, for me, it's the carousel, so it's 12 limit. Um, and you got to rotate it, go back in to the tool setter screen, measure it, go back out, or use the uh, tool change function that's right in there. Um, it's always bugged me for some reason, even though it's not a big deal, but, so I wrote a screen that you can do um, all of them at one time automatically. You just hit the button once and you're done with it. So, and then I updated a couple of the other, like the Z setter screen, um, and the tool, the, the quick change tool screen, I never really liked that either. I thought those just looked like an afterthought, so I've kind of tweaked those a little bit. And now uh, I'll show you with that. Um, I also have another big project that's coming up that's style related, which is going to be a fourth axis field install. So if you purchase one after, um, it's going to be a how to install video. Um, I'll, when I swing the camera around here, I'll show you the, what I've got set up. Um, and uh, it's going to be kind of a how-to video so if you have a field install you'll you'll be able to do it so um so that's about it um i've been getting a lot of uh questions about uh the cost of owning one total cost um i've had a few posts but most people have just contacted me outside of youtube and asked so i might be doing a video um with that let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in that um you know, if nobody's interested, I'm, I'm certainly not going to do it. So, but with that, let me get the camera turned around. I'll show you the new screens. Um, all the probing screens have been proven out and, and work uh, perfect. Um, tool setter screens, um, I still have a couple of things I'm tweaking, but for the most part, those are all done too. So, um, so let's take a look. All right, so before I set this up, because I got to turn lights and everything off to show the screen, thought I'd show you guys the uh, fourth axis, right? So this is the components that you'll get in the field, basically a field install. Obviously there's the fourth axis, tailstock there, controller, here's the center for the, for the tailstock, and then uh, wiring, let's see if I can get this to pan down a little bit. There we go, so you can see the wiring there airline this goes on the side of the controller to protect the uh it goes over here oops like this sorry about that guys but you uh tie strap the wiring to so yeah so that's going to be the next project um my machines I, I believe most of the newer machines actually come prepped to some degree my machine being a little bit older um we're gonna to have to punch holes. Uh, had to mount a I had to mount a uh, breaker in for it. Um, where I believe the new machines, from what I understand, have some of that stuff in it. So, but that'll be that's fine because um, then you'll see it from an older machine if you decide to do that. So, all right, now let me get this thing set up and we'll get over and I'll show you the new screens. All right, so it's always kind of difficult to get a good video of the screen, but we're well, gonna do the best we can. So. Um, so I'll show you the, so the first thing that I updated was the Z setter screen, right? So if you're here and you want to apply Z, um, hit the Z set. 
Um, this one I thought looked like the most like it was just put together at the last second. So, you know, I kinda, it's, it's all the exact same stuff, just in a different format. Um, to me, it looks like a little better. It's a little more, uh, you know, goes along with the theme of the, uh, of the whole control. So, back here. And then um, the tool setter. So I changed this screen a little bit. Um, all of these are exactly the same as they were before. Um, I didn't make any changes here. The only thing that I changed was I added a multi-tool measure. So like I said in the opening, um, you can put tools in in any order you want. Um, they can skip, they can be one and 12, uh, anywhere, it doesn't make any difference. Um, if you want the spindle to rotate, um, and then you just, you know, hit execute and here's, you know, pops up like it always does. And, um, and that'll go through and it'll automatically measure whichever tools you have um, in here, you know, 4, 8, and 11, 1, 2, 3, 4 through 12, um, whatever, you know, whatever combination you have when you load to start a new job, it'll just go ahead with one, just hit execute, hit OK, and then it'll go through and then at the end it tells you what, what they measured at. So pretty simple there. That's really the only change in these, in these screens here other than this menu, um, you know, I updated the menu, so. And then over here to the probe functions again, I updated this menu. I got rid of the two that actually never worked, um, even if you had the macros before. Um, updated the calibration screens. Um, you know, nothing uh, too earth shattering here. Um, and then I added a QR code, so um, if you're doing this in, you don't have, you know, you're, you're not familiar with it or don't understand it, you can scan that QR code with your phone and it'll take you to a help video that um, shows you how, how it's done and, and, and what to enter, you know, in here. However, this one is pretty simple, you know, the diameter of the stylus of the probe, um, you know, your ring gauge, and it's got to be in uh, offset 94. So, and again, execute, updated this screen, updated all of the, um, confirmation screens to you know have the same theme and then I also um, added this button to all of the screens so if, um, it, it doesn't make as much sense here but I'll show you I'll show you another one and then the Z is the same way um, gives you the information all the hints down here have been updated so that it gives you a hint tells you what it is um, I added all those in so it shouldn't uh, you know, if you need to know, hey, what is this? It, it might give you a, the hint down here that you need. And again, there's a QR code that you can scan and, and, and watch the video. So bore, uh, again, uh, if you look at them, they're going to look very similar because I didn't want to change the theme because I kind of like the theme. Um, however, almost everything that was in them has been changed. There was a ton of mistakes. Um, you know, they weren't really put together, um, in my opinion, as well as they could have. So, um, and then here it always, um, on every screen, it's going to give you what it measured versus what you entered in here. So if you um, know what the dimension is, and like on this one, and, and, and we'll run this one in a second, it's, it's a one inch, um, you know, has a one inch bore, um, and it's ring gauge, and, you know, it should be one inch. So, um if it's not, it's going to tell you how, how far off it is, right? So let's, let's set this one up. Um, as you can see, we're going to just uh, use, uh, put it in the first spot. And it automatically clears that so you don't have to delete information, right? So one inch. Um, and then uh, you can see in the... Uh, too many cameras in the way here. Let me get this. Um, you can see in the inset here in the picture in the picture of the touch panel, right? So, what to do is, uh, bring it down so it's below the surface and sort of in the center. And then uh, hit the execute, and then it's going to say, hey, you want to do this? And yes, we do. So we hit enter, and then it starts probing.
it's nice, you know, the other routines, um, you know, you had to set the G59 location, which is not a huge deal, but it's it's much nicer to just, just put the probe roughly where you need it and, you know, hit the button and go. So, it's almost done here. There, so um, it finished, um, and you can see over here, um, you know, it measured it about uh, five tenths off. Um, it really, on this ring gauge, is very susceptible to heat. Um, I, I suppose on all of them, um, but anyways, uh, you get the idea. And then, and then what this uh, what this does is dumps you right back to your work coordinate screen, right? So here you can see. You know the work coordinates. There's no, there's no before. Um, if you were in here, there is the page back, page back. Um, you know that'll just quickly get you back to the uh, work coordinate screen. So, let me get this up. All right. So they're pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory here. You know, same thing, boss. What I added here um, was the ability, if you check that box, it's gonna do X, Y, and Z. So it'll set the, the Z to the top of the part and into the center of the part. Um, again, it's the same. You put the work coordinates in, then we wanna do one, and the diameter of the boss, whatever, one inch. Um, the incremental distance, you wanna move the Z below the top of the part. Um, you know, that's like a minus, uh, you know, let's say 300 thousandths. And then here, if you want it to do the Z, you uh, check the box and it'll, um, you know, measure X, Y, Z. Again, you just hit execute and you're done, right? So let's check that. And then again, that, that button will dump you back to um, the work coordinate screen. So these are all you know, pretty much the same in a rectangle box. Um, just like the routines, it has an incremental distance you can move. Uh, you know, if you had a feature you wanted in the center of this, but maybe you had a feature, you could move it over and it'll, you know, it, it, it'll move it past that feature. Same thing, boss. Um, you know, can set the Z, you know, X, Y. web you know can set the z again here every screen is going to give you this measurement so you can use it if you would you know you could use it to measure some parts um, obviously it's not a cmm or anything like that but it might be something uh, hey i want to know how close this is or whatever right so you can quickly do it um pocket pocket in the x same you know not a lot of not a lot of excitement there um, a corner finding, so you have an inside and outside corner. Um, you select uh, you select which corner you want, and it's going to pop up, show you a picture of what you're going to be probing, and then again you got your incremental distance, and uh, you know, hit go, and you're good to go. Uh, single touch, um, you know, if you want to do the X plus, uh, oops, scroll down there, you got to scroll down, X plus, it's going to pop up with a picture, show you what you're doing, again, you hit ex execute, and you're good to go, um, and, it, and it tells you, hey, you know, you need to be 300 thousandths away from the part, um, yeah, actually, it can be a little bit more than that, but you know, 300 thousandths is um, probably a good starting point, so. And then I also added a little bit of a help screen here. Um, obviously this is a living document, so to speak. This is just some stuff that I threw in there real quick. But. So yeah, that's it. Um, again, I tried to keep everything, you know, the same theme. Um, updates to everything to make them look you know all the same and uh, it's going to be I'm, I'm, I'm working on a couple more um, probing uh, screens I don't have them in this set yet um, 
to measure some angles and some offsets. If you've got the part offset, you can use it to um, measure those, but those will be down the road. So, so that's it. Uh, this is what I've been working on. Um, hopefully, uh, I can get you know everything wrapped up um, in the next day or two. I've got a few things I got to tweak on on this tool setter stuff, but uh, other than that, they should be good to go. So. So that's it guys, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, look forward to the uh, fourth axis uh, how to install video that's coming up and uh, we'll see you in the next one.